Three, two, one, go. Thank you very much. So uh, we are Team Dell. We are a collaboration between Full Team Dell Robotics uh, and the uh, University, the Technical University of Dell. First thing that most people are going to do is that we are So, um, when we started, we first started to analyze the actual hardware that we needed for a system like this. Uh, what we would want, uh, also to get the proper system. And based on that, we uh, we the... Uh, okay, so this is uh, one of the more interesting items. This is a pencil cup. Uh, we cannot pick this item up with a vacuum. And meaning that we use our grip, which is neatly hidden on the back side of the river. So we, um, what the robot was doing now, we were checking the toad, whether we had successfully picked up the item. So as the camera has, has seen the item in the toad, we now add it to the successful list. Uh, so hard that, let's write itself in my Uh, on the vision side, we use two industrial grade cameras. One is mounted on top of the road on the road river, and one is uh, mounted on top of the road. And we use deep learning to analyze the picture. So we take a sample, both a uh, normal picture and a picture in 3D. Based on the normal architecture of the picture, we uh, try to identify which items are where in the, uh, in the frame. Uh, we use deep learning for this, which means that we uh, give the system or the robot a large number of components. Uh, For these objects that have a uh, rigid shape, we use uh, wall matching. Um, for the more flexible objects, we go for another group where we use a sample. Okay, so here we try to pick the coffee, which will. The robot has successfully detected that it has failed to pick up the coffee. However, in the process, we dropped the drop codes that were. Including the object. Normally we would inspect this and move the drop points first to a bin that we already emptied, uh, meaning that we create clearance for the object that we But certainly not this now didn't work. Uh, this is a particular item that has been our uh, enemy for a really long time. The reason was can uh, change, and our systems always try to grab it exactly between the three uh, apps, um, meaning that the suction cup didn't uh, yeah, get a good grip. And we ended up only matching for a single app, uh, which very much So we use some really neat techniques to uh, optimize the collision checks. So we are doing dynamic path planning, meaning that we try to uh, analyze how the robot should move from the position is to the item that we want to pick up. 
without providing anything in between. Five minutes for down, ten minutes for main. So normally this takes a very really long time because every step along the way you have to analyze whether the robot will be in position with things. Uh, we opted yeah. for uh, starting with the checks for those persons which have a high chance of breaking, meaning that instead of a couple of hundred analysis for each potential mon uh, motion, most motions are rejected in a mere uh, tenth of a second. So what you also see the robot doing is that in some cases we don't get a good view of the items that we're trying to pick up. And that case we uh, move the camera slider. So we're going to the it will work. So that's our second row. I'm not sure which item we're now looking for. Two items in the last one. Another neat thing is that we have to talk about the communication of 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 the the This saw was a uh, move. We, uh, the system decided that it couldn't pick up the item that it wanted to pick up. So it first moved another item out of the way to remove an occlusion for the item that we're trying to pick up. Not completely sure which item we're trying to get from this bin. So for now we still couldn't see the item and on the next run we'll go for moving another item again. Currently we're looking at probably the most built bin. Also there we see some issues and we continue to the second most built bin. And there we which are the black bins. Dell Robotics, we are a, a startup company, a spin off of the university. We've existed for two years now, and we are specialized in combining vision uh, and robotics, uh, and then more particularly, 3D vision and robotics. And uh, one of the Uh, the reason why we participate in this challenge uh, is that uh, we want to show what is already possible with the techniques that now exist. Uh, but it also allows us to further develop our own skills in, uh, in this area.
So I can still see the trains in there. Yeah. The yeah. The So in this bin are also quite numerous items. And we have to go to the moon. So I think in this talk we uh, are still looking for the coffee as we have failed to successfully pick it up so far. And the system isn't aware that it works, sadly enough. And here we go from Ottawa. Uh, so we are going to the rest of the work. We're moving both sides. Now we should go back to the same code again and see whether the item that we are actually looking for has now been cleared of uh, provisions in the past to pick it up. It didn't, so we go back to the no longer uh, existing copy. Oh yeah, this is the so our system now thinks that uh, the copy might be hidden behind the yeah, was trying to use it. Then it was Alright, I have a big hand for Delphi Monic.